The Fidesz government in European Union member Hungary again falls under international scrutiny with a series of crackdowns against civic organizations funded by non-EU Norway, Iceland and Liechtenstein. Last week, police raided the headquarters of the Okotars Foundation distributing grants for projects in less developed economies. Budapest accuses the foundation of using funds illegally and of being problematic because of political ties with the left. The crackdowns sharpen concern that core democratic values are under threat in Hungary. Okotar's director Veronica Mora said, we find it unnecessary and disproportionate that they come here with huge police forces without prior notice and seize documents. If they'd asked us in a letter for the documents, we would have provided them. Requests in the past met with full compliance. Another of the NGOs the Hungarian government is suspicious of is Transparency International. In the past, it has warned of alarming corruption risks from the close relationship between the political and business elites. Transparency Managing Director in Hungary, Josef Martin, said this investigation is based on political motivations. First, they name a group of NGOs who are, according to them, prejudiced against the government, and then they unleash the authorities on them. Spokesman Zoltan Kovac of the ruling centre-right Fidesz party says the government is just doing its job. He says it's easy to make up conspiracy theories, especially if they want to use this for political ends. But these NGOs only make up a small part of civil society and they are suspected of not using the money for what it was intended and even partly admitted it. The raids are in no way an attack on all of the NGOs operating in Hungary. Many millions of euros are at stake with relations soured. Oslo is concerned that by cracking down Budapest in fringes on NGOs critical of Prime Minister Viktor Orban's government and that it's failing to respect European values. Here's the ambassador. The NGO fund is not public Hungarian money. It's public Norwegian money, but it's not public Hungarian money. And it's actually not uh, paid through Hungarian budget either. It's paid directly from uh, Brussels, from our secretary, the donor secretariat in Brussels. The crackdown sparked peaceful demonstrations against the government in Budapest at the weekend. And a message by Twitter from European Parliament President Martin Schulz calling the raids in Hungary deeply worrying, adding that dissenting voices are what keep society vibrant and this crackdown goes in the opposite direction. Our Budapest correspondent concludes, although most NGOs funded by the Norwegian grants are not affected, such as this one that trains dogs to help disabled people, many fear they could lose their funding if things don't improve.